singles in a handful of years down the line, former country, blues and R&B aficionado Ted Brown, along with the Italians, is at the moment finishing work on his debut album. We had a talk and here's what he said. No move is the best move We could make right now Slow groove, smooth us out When we turn the tempo down Swerve is kind of just a, um, it's kind of a melancholy love song, I suppose it's a love song. I haven't really thought about it too much. A lot of the way I write is kind of abstract, so I'll just write things as they come to hand or as they pop into my head. And I sometimes only think of lyrics in terms of um, additional instrumentation anyway. Although every now and then you do write something and you think, shit, I'm clever. You know? But uh, that, that's a rare, that's a rare, a rare um, time when that happens, and sometimes you might have a great lyric in a shithouse song, but it's the way it goes. Love Explodes is something that I recorded originally with Mark and it was on our demo that we gave to Trevor when we were trying to, to, trying to um, get somebody to release our stuff. Um, and as you know, Love Explodes was picked up by the Straw People who recorded a version of it. But in actuality, it's probably the most stark song in our set. It's usually the one we play last because I have trouble um, singing anything after I've hit the high note and Love Explodes. Then suddenly love explodes. Love explodes. Love explodes. Love If ever there was a time to meet somebody bad Well, I worked with what I had and made it rain I've never, ex never actually um, thought about uh, accents that I use when I sing. I mean, the Beatles always sing with American accents. Mick Jagger is the, is the prime example. In fact, there's still millions of Americans who believe Mick Jagger is, is one of them, you know. Um, and the kind of music that we play would sound, uh, would, probably wouldn't sound right with, uh, with the Kiwi drawl. I think it's quite important if people are interested to come and see us play because the first two singles we've released are only indicative of, of that much of our set. Um, we do rock out quite regularly and we always have, just that we chose to release those two songs that um, one was kind of ballad-esque and the other one was definitely a ballad. Um, we've, we've decided now to release something in, that we, that's from our set that uh, is a rock song, but it's um, by no means the odd one out in our live set.
After the break, two days in the life of Phil's disease and we dance like a hole in the head. Ooh. 